Okay, YouTubers, this is uh, test three on my Outcast hybrid. Um, if you guys didn't see the first two, what I did was I got a Typhon chassis, which that's what the Outcast is made of, and a crate and roller, and switched all this stuff over and made a Typhon slash Outcast stunt truck. Um, to turn it into an Outcast, basically all I have to do is order the body once it's available and get the body post and mount it right to the original spot. Put a wheelie bar and pump bumper and you're good. <clears throat> so in the meantime, I had the, the um, body shell and the wing and electronics and whatnot. So I figured out, hey, let me try this. First test wasn't good. It was all off balance. Um, <clears throat> come to find out, I don't know what happened, but one of the shocks was longer than the other one by like a quarter inch. So I changed the oils and did that. The second test, um, I had the shocks and uh, <clears throat> I changed the wheels because I wasn't getting enough wheel spin. So I put the regular um, stock Creighton wheels on it. But that wasn't the problem. Um, the wheel spin issue was I needed to put thicker diff oil in the front so I'd bleed more power to the rear. Because originally all I did was put the 100K in the middle and didn't touch any of the diffs. So yesterday um, I was going to put 70K in but I didn't have it so I had 60. I put 60K in the front and we'll see how she does and I put the Badlands back on because I think it just looks better it's sweet as as far as the top goes like bashing wise this shell sits nice and low so it doesn't get beat up when you're upside down and then if you are upside down the shell is barely touching <clears throat> so it's got the short wheelbase, so it turns on a dime. It's really going to be good for the track. So, I'm just getting it dialed in. I came out here to this little bash spot. And we'll see how she does. 6S. It's definitely not enough wheel spin. Yesterday I was able to do backflips, but barely with the bigger tires. So I guess she's just ain't big enough. It is a beast, though. As far as handling, whew, forget about it. Even does wheelies on loose dirt. <laughs> ah, get that wheelie bar on this thing. She'll be out. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yesterday I did an uncut uh, video. I just didn't uh, edit nothing out. So. You can see all the fuck ups. Alright, we'll get some top end on this. Ready? 
This is a 12 tooth pinion. Let's get it out here. Um, it's basically 18 long, 18 and a half long, 18 and a half wide, so it's just a big square platform, so it's pretty stable. I just got to get it dialed in as far as uh, jumping, and like I said in the other video, I think most of it is um, when I get that truck body. Because the Raptor, F-150 Raptor, mounts right on this too, so. I think once I get a truck body with some um, weight, I think the weight's so low. I mean, this is going to be awesome for the track. Forget about it. 4S on my track. Turns on a dime. Fucking turn right around in the trail, you know what I mean? Actually, you don't gotta mess with the servo, that's for sure. This thing's. Actually, I think I gotta dial it down. Oh, come on, laying on your feet. I have the back shocks wound down so the, I mean wound up so the springs barely have enough tension. But um, I think, I think since it's got um, so lightweight, I still got to put even thicker oil to dampen it. So it doesn't rebound and kick the back up so much. The next uh, wheels I'm going to try are the 3.8, the Proline um, 40 series. They're my best bashing tires, and they're heavy, so I might get the wheel spin. Because these are smaller than the Outcast tires that they come with, so I don't think it has enough wheel spin. Yeah, my last video, in case you didn't hear, um, 
somebody commented like, uh, wouldn't it be cheaper just to buy an outcast? And I had told him, look, it ain't about the money. As far as the hobby, you know, you come up with an idea, you try stuff out, you know, try to make something new, different. Anybody could just go buy a freaking outcast, you know what I mean? So. <clears throat> and plus, um, the outcast won't be badass for the track like this is gonna be. Because <clears throat> this is, uh, you figure it's gonna be right in between a, a little typhon and a talon, yeah? And since it's got that wider stance, it's gonna have better stability on the track. Because on my first video when I was making it, I have the typhon and um, with the Badlands, the wheels fit inside, so that's how much wider it is. It's the width of these wheels, you know. Could have got a backflip on that one. Oh, I did a wheelie right up that bitch. Yeah, the first uh, freaking video I did, I got a little stone stuck in the in the um, ESC fan and broke broke one of my fins off. So I had one of these little wild turbo fans. I put that on there. Oh, this is fun. Barely got it. Uh, it made a big difference though because with these uh changing that front diff flow with these front tires that baby wouldn't even go up on the first day. I could do a backflip with the stock crate and tires yesterday, but barely. Let's go, let's go, rip it. Look at that sucker turn on Don.
Yep, I got low battery. It's going to shut off soon, but... Alright, YouTubers, thanks for watching. Let's bash this until it shuts off. Um, hey, third, uh, third run. I think she's pretty good. Like I said, when I put them, um... When I put them 40 series trenchers on, forget about it. This thing's going to be an animal. Because them tires are nice, they're heavy. Ooh, 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 come on, baby. I guess that's why it's a stunt truck. It's, <laughs> it always lands on its feet. Oh, that's it, low vo voltage cutoff. Alright, YouTubers, that was a good run. My Outcast Hybrid slash Typhoon. 6S, third run, finally got her dialed in. Absolute beast. So if you guys want to play around and um, get something good for track time, this is the way to go. Um, you know, the truck is going to be too top heavy and whatnot, so this thing is sweet. Look at that stance. Looks like a, well, looks like a spider, so wide. Yeah, I think I measure, I think it's like exactly, I don't know, 18 and a half by 18 and a half wheelbase. So it's like a big old square. Alright, YouTubers, I'm out.